gonna be trying my best to <laughs> vlog my day as a computer science major. Just sitting here with uh, Shredder, uh, short for Shreya. <laughs> and we just um, were studying discrete structures, which is required by all computer science majors. And I haven't seen any any connection to any programming. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I had two semesters of this, and I still don't understand anything. But let's not fucking laugh. I'm trying to be serious right now. ACL is still active. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to a uh, philosopher. Yeah, I'm gonna Oh, I got you. All right, go to the women's bathroom. Go ahead, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I'll, uh, what do we have? What do we have? Com computer Philosophy. architecture, right? Philosophy and computer architecture. Oh yeah. Oh, we just finished this this, this this class. What do we learn about today? How to what do we learn about today? Huh? How to take a nap? I'm about to go to mobile computing. We're about to doze off again. So let's let's see how that goes. basically have here is uh, an equation with functions that have values to them and you just whatever this number is you just plug it into the equation so we have a to the one so a one minus one is zero so a zero has a value of two so six times two is twelve and you just keep going two minus one is one one has a value of twelve six times twelve is seventy two and you just keep going with that and that's what we're basically do for most of these problems <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Thursday. Um, I'm just showing um, um, two days because uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays are completely two different days in my schedule. So I'm just I'm out here since 6 a.m. What basically comes out of this is you got five dice and you're trying to randomize them without using different values like value one, value two, value three, value four, value five, and then just randomizing them. You're just trying to use um, one value uh, right here because you could just repeat this part over and over again. And what's it called? And you could just get the same result, but you put them in a the loop um, with an array size the array size by one and what's it called it'll run through this five times and it'll display it yeah just, 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 you know continue on the vlog because uh due to unfortunate events i missed it We were trying to figure out in class is uh, series and parallel. I'm gonna explain that to you guys. So when you have you have a battery, a ground, ampermeter. So whatever the current goes through two resistors like this, they're called a series together. So you just add them. So two plus one is three, and we just add one, two, three resistors because the current passes through all of them. So once you uh, simplified it to that, we just have to simplify it even more to parallels. So you have two resistors going through two main points. Then you have one over 
2.3, 1 over 2.2, you add them together and then once you get the answer, you put 1 over that answer and that's when you come out with 1.1244 and you just keep simplifying it until you have one resistor and then this is the way to calculate the current if there's no ampermeter on your exam or anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you want me to end the video right now? All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. I mean, I try my best to vlog and everything, but you know, I kept forgetting, but it's cool and everything. I'll see you guys around for vlog number three.